Hey YouTube, it's Fred here from Hillian's Bricks and I hope you're well. And in today's video I'm going to give you an update on my order from Stock Must Go and in particular this set that I got, um, the Mos Eisley Cantina Star Wars 75290. So uh, you might remember about a week or so ago I did a video unboxing it and I'm just going to show you a clip right now and uh, let me know if you spot anything. If you haven't, let me play it again but this time in slow motion. So yeah, as you could have seen, a piece actually flew out and that should have set the alarm bells ringing, right? Because I started bottling this out in an earlier live stream a few days ago and uh, it was a bit suspicious, you know, the box seemed to have like been opened already, but the bag seemed there, you know, I saw a few minifigures in there. I saw uh, whatever this is called, big animal, I don't even know what it's called. I'm not that much of a Star Wars fan, but yeah, that was in there. So I thought all, all was good. So. I started uh, getting more and more suspicious as I started parting out and opening more bags that some of the minifigures might not be there. So I decided to open it all up and yes, uh, someone has already opened this box and taken out the most valuable minifigures. So in particular, there are seven minifigures missing. So the minifigures that were missing, and for you Star Wars fans, I, I apologize if I mispronounced these names, but yeah, it's all the expensive ones, by the way. So. Ponda Baba was missing, Dr. Evazan, Labria, Hershek, Kal Fass, whatever that is, Momao, Nadon, Cave, and Garandon. Those were the seven minifigures missing. So on Brickline, the value of those seven is worth about 140 pounds. Now, I got this set 80 pounds off, so from a ratio perspective, it's not that critical. But nevertheless, it's not great, right? So um, I wrote an email, I figured this out last night by the way, so I wrote an email uh, last, late last night after opening hours to stop my skull, explaining the situation, I look, got the set, uh, things are missing, uh, what are you going to do about it kind of thing, right? So uh, just to be clear, I don't want to return the set because, you know, I've already parted out half of it pretty much. So they did offer me, you know, to return it um, and they was going to say, oh, we'll give you a replacement. But if you look on their website, they haven't got any other stock of this. And it's not like a place that they replenish stock. It's just clearing stock from probably returns that they get. And also they offered me like a, a, a full refund if I sent the box back. And I said, look, what's the deal? Like if the, the Lego pieces, you know, <laughs> I've parted things out. Um, what if, um, you know, the bags are all open? They're like, oh, don't worry about it. So just still send it back. So I think so. I have no complaints whatsoever about their customer service. Uh, the one thing I would recommend to them though is that they actually do a bit more due diligence uh, when they get some stock in. You know, they see some of the seals are not great, especially with some high value sets, they should be looking out a bit more. So I'm not gonna take up their offer in terms of, um, you know, sending it back. I think you've just put too much effort in it already in terms of parting it out. I'm not gonna start taking things out of the wall and things like that. So I'm gonna have learned a lesson. Um, Next time, before I part out, I'll always make sure I 100% check. Um, but truth be told, I'm probably not going to order from Stock Musk anymore. I don't think it's the, the risk is worth it. Unless um, it's a set that doesn't really have many minifigures, then I might still consider it. But if it's a set in particular where the minifigures have high value, I don't think I will be ordering from there again. But yeah. I have no complaints about the customer service. It's just, it's a pity really, right? So I would have liked to have those minifigures. Um, you know, they do, they are worth quite a bit and that's what actually brings up the value of the set from a part out perspective. But yeah, I guess lesson learned. Uh, if it's too good to be true, then I guess sometimes it's too good to be true, right? So, but yeah, I thought I'd share it with you because I know some of you have been watching uh, the live stream and I was parting out and I always had that question mark, right? I'm like, I'm wondering if this actually is uh, all there, everything there, so. Now you got the answer. It's not all there. So seven minifigures were missing. Um, it is a tad disappointing, but hopefully all the other bricks will sell. And I don't think I'm going to lose any money out of it because the part out value of this set is £600. Um, take out those minifigures. They're worth about £140. So you still got £460. And you know I paid £240 for this set. So it's actually below ratio of two, which is not great. Because uh, I usually look for a ratio of three. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. Tan, fortunately, does uh, tan colored bricks sell quite well. So hopefully, you know, we should be able to shift most of these bricks and make our money back. But yeah, I thought I'd give you an update. Uh, yeah, let us know in the comment section what you think, if you had any similar experience. But yeah, clearly someone was there before me just and re resealed the bags very carefully. I saw there's like tape and some of it was like probably heat sealed. 
Uh, yeah, so someone took their time to take out these minifigures, but yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure, you know, why are there people like that in the world, right? But yeah, that's it. That's my disappointment. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like it, subscribe to my channel to let other people know about it. And we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.